Governor DeSantis made it official. He's running to be the GOP's candidate for president. Did it this late afternoon. Started in an unconventional way on Twitter in an audio-only chat with Twitter CEO Elon Musk, moderated by David Sachs. Who's that? Good question. He's a tech investor and former PayPal product leader. Uh, this was very different than any other announcement you've probably ever experienced. And the question is, was it in a good way? I've never heard of a candidate who wants to enter a race without letting you see their face. Um, now, much of the reviews have been about these tech glitches early on. I don't care about that. I mean, we all get glitches, all right? They're like part of being on the internet especially for the media, to make that a big deal when we're the land of glitches? I mean, how often do I have to apologize for what happens on this show, right? Everybody has to do that. It shows how out of touch the media can be with what you actually care about with things. Uh, we get glitches, I get it. Um, but did you get to hear what you wanted? And by the way, Democrats are seizing on the glitches too. Really? After the Obamacare rollout? No shame in this game. The DeSantis-Musk show lasted for more than an hour. OK, and the question is, did people get what they wanted? Let's bring in Bill O'Reilly. What did you think? You know, um, it's politics as usual for me. I think the two things about the DeSantis campaign stand out at this point. Number one, it's very well organized campaign. Um, and number two, he's going to base his message on the Internet. Uh, Twitter probably being the lead because he's safe there. Uh, he can control the circumstance. More and more, our politicians want to control what happens in the interviews and things like that. Now, DeSantis is not going to beat Donald Trump in the primaries unless the Trump campaign derails, possibly because of the legal situations. But head to head, uh, Trump will win the primaries because his MAGA voters are more motivated. They are fanatically loyal to him. And as you know, um, most Americans don't vote in primaries. Only mm. the most motivated do. So Trump's got a huge advantage there. So DeSantis is basically running as a second in case the Trump thing blows up. And his primary um, positive for Republicans is that he is a woke avenger. He is anti-woke and is going to disassemble that movement, which is 100 percent in the wheelhouse of Republicans and conservatives. Mm. So DeSantis is formidable. Um, he's not going to beat Trump one on one. Uh, anything could happen in the next six months. Sorry to use the cliche. Style and substance. Uh, style. I've never heard of somebody not wanting to be on camera for their announcement into the presidency. Is this a nod New to world. what is a growing um, criticism of him, that he's not telegenic, he doesn't have a lot of the retail skills that uh, people in his position often do? No. He's telegenic. What's the matter with him? He doesn't look like uh, Herman Munster out there. Come on, Cuomo. Looks fine. Why would he it's pick, why why would he pick an audio-only announcement for president? Would you have done that? Safe. It's safe. I might have. Depends what Elon Musk uh, promised me down the road. His deal's made all the time. Anyway, DeSantis is going on cable television tonight. Right. And tomorrow he'll do a filmed announcement. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. All right. Uh, DeSantis, from what I understand, never met him, don't know him. But he likes to control his environment. Man, it doesn't like make him unusual too. in Hillary that Clinton business. Clinton was like that, too. Yeah, I mean, no, they're, they're all, they're all like that, not. just to different degrees. All right, another question. Uh, you left one thing out in terms of his approach uh, on Trump. It's, I have the positions, but I also have character. Do you believe that character should count in an assessment of who is going to get your vote for president? It counts for me... Um, but if I had to choose between a person of dubious character, and of course it mean it depends on what the dubious is, and somebody who's efficiently run the government, as opposed to what we have now, which is just abject chaos, I would go with the dubious character, efficient person. But it matters to me. I'd like my president to be honest and up standing and all of those nice things. Unfortunately, we live in a time where that is increasingly difficult to come by. DeSantis looks like a solid guy to me. Military vet, very well educated, ran the state of Florida well. 
Um, but I don't know really, you know, behind the scenes what he's like, but I'm willing to give him and everybody else the benefit of the doubt. If you hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.